Hello and welcome to July's Diabetes Technology Report. Time flies. In this video I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world and beyond in the last uh, 31 days. Um, and this, this includes one drop glucose monitors are now available in selected Apple stores. Abbott released an update to the Freestyle Libre system in the UK with improved accuracy. This and so much more is coming your way. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Let's start with Libre Accuracy Update in the UK. If you use the Freestyle Libre system in the UK, you can now update your Libre Link app and or your reader. Version 2.3 brings improved accuracy, especially during the first 24 hours of the sensor. You can update both your reader and your app. With Libre Link app, you can just download the newest version on the App Store or Google Play. With the reader, you need to go to the update software website. Also, important thing to mention, you cannot update your Libre app or your reader uh, during an active session, so you need to update uh, your app and your reader in between sessions when you don't have an active sensor. Now some uh, Apple Store uh, news. You can now buy the um, one drop glucose meter in the uh, Apple Store. It's currently available to purchase in selected Apple Stores in the US and more places soon. So you can just go and buy it, uh, which is great. Um, it's great to see diabetes technology becoming just easier accessible and easier to get. Now, by the way, I didn't buy this meter in the Apple Store. It didn't available in the UK yet. And I bought this a while ago, so this is just for presentation purposes. Uh, but yeah, I think it's great. Also, it's very convenient because obviously the new one drop meter connects directly with your Apple Watch, so you don't even need the phone. Um, not this one because I bought this a while ago. Uh, but yeah, so you can just go and buy the watch and buy the meter. Next up, Omnipod Dash apps are now available in the US. Dash Display iOS app shows information from the PDM including system status, basal rates. As the name suggests, this app displays information but doesn't allow you to bolus and control your pod. It includes a widget which displays insulin on board, PDM battery and the reservoir level. Second Omnipod Dash app, Omnipod View, allows parents and caregivers to access Podder's information such as alarms, reminders, reservoir level, insulin on board and so on. As a Podder myself, I am super excited and in case you were wondering, the Omnipod Dash pod looks just like the current Omnipod. It just has Dash here and this bit is blue, in case you were wondering. It's cute. And now just last quick update, now this is nothing to do with technology, just diabetes related, but I think it's super, super important. So that's why I want to talk about it. It's about um, glucagon. Now please don't consider this a medical advice or otherwise, if you want to know more about glucagon, please speak to your healthcare professional. Well, up until now, glucagon was available in, a, in an injection. Um, which was injected in the event of a really low glucose level, but now uh, it will, it's available, it's approved to be delivered in a powder form, so just a couple of sprays up, up your nose um, and, and it, can, it can be delivered that way, which is just amazing. It's great for everyone really, especially for kids, uh, for parents and, and kind of caregivers, uh, teachers, etc. It's just so much easier than that and, and um, I, I, I wanted to, to kind of say a huge thank you to all researchers involved, all doctors, everyone involved that can make um, stuff like this possible to help us in, 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 in those situations. So thank you everyone. And this was your July 2019 Diabetes Technology Report. Um, it's summer, I am boiling. I cannot even begin to tell you how hot it is in this room. Uh, the roof is just here and, and like I am sweating, I'm probably red. Uh, also, I'm using a different app this month, um, which I just realized has a huge clock, which is probably going to look super weird on editing. But anyway, I uh, hope you're well. Um, let me know what you think about all of these updates as always um, down below. What do you think? And um, yeah, let me know how your summer is going. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. And see you next time. Bye-bye.